everyone. We are coming up on 810 and March is Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. And now I personally hadn't heard of that until this morning, but I am here with Rhonda Hobby. She is the president of the Colorectal Cancer Awareness Support, or I guess the Colorectal Cancer Support Group. And then Joy Hooper here is just an amazing, amazing woman with so much knowledge. And she is going to tell us all about what exactly is colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer is um, actually the second cause of death cancer, okay. um, the leading one. The leading cause of death from cancer would be lung cancer. Mm -hmm. But if you took away um, cigarette smoke, mm -hmm. um, that would put colon cancer, the number one cause of cancer wow. death. Okay, so um, colorectal, <clears throat> I definitely just didn't put two and two together this morning, so it's cancer of the colon. Cancer of the colon, and more and more people are being diagnosed at an earlier age. Wow. We're currently, they're saying, you know, get your colonoscopy done at the age 50. Mm -hmm. um, actually, we'd like to lower that a little bit because there are just so many younger people diagnosed with, with colorectal cancer now. Sure. And now you <coughs> have, I'm assuming, a step after the screenings, once people do mm -hmm. have colon cancer, you have this interesting little apron mm -hmm. on, which is mm -hmm. going to demonstrate the process of what happens. If you have a, a colostomy, okay. actually. And um, is that when you, the process of kind of getting rid of the colon cancer? Some people. Um, now, actually, more and more people are having the surgery, and they don't have to have an ostomy. Wonderful. Because of earlier diagnosis. Okay. But if you're diagnosed later and you have, a, like, stage 4 cancer, mm -hmm. oftentimes you have to have what's called the colostomy. Okay. And the way I like to explain it is you explain how the food is digested. Okay. You chew your food, and it goes down your esophagus into your stomach. Mm -hmm. From your stomach, it goes through your small intestine. And now the small intestine is actually quite long, isn't it? Actually, <laughs> it is. It's very, very long. And the job of the small intestine is to eat for us. It absorbs the vitamins and nutrients out of the food as it's okay. going through there. From the small intestine, it goes into the large intestine. Mm -hmm. And the job of the large intestine is to drink for us. It absorbs oh. the, the water out of that food as it's going around, traveling, and exiting from our rectum. That way we get rectum. kind of all those nutrients. Exactly, right? exactly. Right. Now, if you had an anal cancer or a colon obstruction and they had to do the surgery called the colostomy, mm -hmm. what they do is they separate the colon oh, just wow. like this. Now they have to do something because you've got food going in here and of course stool coming out here. Mm -hmm. So what the surgeon does is on the outside of your abdomen, thank you Rhonda, mm -hmm. the surgeon will make a small incision. Oh, wow. He takes the open end of the colon just like this and pulls it through, folds it over and sews it down on itself to form what's known as the stoma. Oh, wow. This is where the stool is now gonna exit the body. This is much like the abdomen will appear. Sure, wow. And then you would wear one of these pouches. This, for instance, is a one-piece pouch. Okay. And the newer pouches have Velcro on the bottom of them, not just the old standard clamp that okay. was there. And we brought this selection to show just how many different lots. kinds of pouches there are now. Yes, wow. there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pouches out there. And if someone is in still that traditional one that they came home from the hospital, mm -hmm. um, we want you to know that there's hundreds of other possibilities and I feel like wear. some of these other ones might be a little more comfortable for people as well absolutely absolutely and they have they're made of different fabrics some of them have the filters on them to mm -hmm. help the gas escape um, some of them are rustle free you know up underneath the clothing and so they're yeah. they're a lot more comfortable but I do feel like this <clears> is a huge step in people's lives they're essentially going to the bathroom outside of their body absolutely and absolutely. this is kind of where the support group fits exactly. absolutely and Contrary to what you may think, looking at me, you don't know that I am wearing a pouch. Well, no, I would have no idea. Mm -hmm. I, I do not have, did not have colon cancer. I had a urostomy. They had to remove my bladder. Oh, so urine pours into my pouch. And I had to determine the type of pouch mm -hmm. from these that would work best for me. And the same pouch does not work for each person. Sure. And you just have to change your life. Mm -hmm. And you have life and that's the important thing is having life yes. before I wouldn't have had life so it just makes a big difference in your life so we do have this support group and we would welcome anybody to mm -hmm. come we Absolutely. have it at the Colquitt Regional Medical Center and it's quarterly and this one is on March the 29th at 6 o'clock and we have the telephone number here for you to call if you need any information I think we also can pop it up at the bottom of the screen there. But again, their support group is meeting uh, March 29th, so that's coming up. We're going to learn a little bit more about them in just a few minutes. But first, we're going to send it over to Kelly. Kelly?